Hey guys, what's going on? Viridia here, and uh, we're back again, back into the Donkey Kong Country Forest. Uh, today I want to try and knock out this world, um, because this is about as far as I've gotten in the game. So uh, I want to continue with my practice file, that way I can at least practice some of the levels I have a little bit of trouble on, so that we're not stuck in this game for 70 or 80 episodes, and you're not watching me. Like, fuck around too much. <laughs> this one's gonna give me some trouble. Um, today was, uh, or not today, but this week. This past week was Thanksgiving week. Oop. So, I didn't get a lot done uh, in the past couple days. But, uh, God, I'm glad to be back to this game. I'll tell you that. I'm really excited to, uh, get this level beat today and then spend the rest of the night doing a practice file to the end of the game. I'm really psyched up about it. What I'm not psyched up about is going out and uh, going out and finding a, a damn job tomorrow. That's what I'm not excited about. Alright, here we go. Swinging on the pendulum. Alright. So, um... I'm sure you guys had a good Thanksgiving. That's a that's a, a question that everybody asks. It's uh, how was your there? Did you have a good Thanksgiving? I want to ask the question: Did you have a bad Thanksgiving? And if so, what the hell happened? Tell me in the in the comments. <laughs> what happened on your Thanksgiving that made it so shitty? I got to tell you an awesome story. And this story is is awesome for for many reasons. As you know, uh, I play Call of Duty as well as other games. Well, anyway, we're at my uh, my family's house, and I know this is completely off subject from Donkey Kong. Bear with me; it's worth it. It's funny. Well, I thought it was funny. So when I was uh, <laughs> this is no this is no shit. When I was a kid, well, I was well, when I was about four, maybe thirteen or fourteen. One night we get a oh shit. One night we get a phone call, really late, and, uh, oh, damn it! I gotta get in here, bonus barrel. Uh, we get a phone call really late, and it's from my, my aunt, and, uh, she's, like, bawling. She's crying. And, uh, we're like, okay, what's the matter? Well, my dad's brother had evidently got his leg, he had gotten shot with a shotgun. Uh, hold on. Yeah, look at that. Uh, he had gotten shot with a shotgun, we thought he was going to die, well, come to find out, he had just gotten his leg shot off, and, uh, so, yeah, him and his son had gotten into it over some girl, I don't know, it's, it involved tons of drugs, I mean, these, these, these are the druggy side of my family, you know, a lot of you guys, I'm sure, know what methamphetamine is, it's like the worst drug you could ever take in the world, well, that's what they take, that's what they're on, is meth. You can tell by the way they look. Anyway, so when we get to Thanksgiving, they're there, and we haven't seen them in like over a year now, and uh, they are meth out of their heads. Like they are so skinny and just so thin. They look, ew, it's disgusting. And um, my uncle Eddie is miss, missing his leg, you know, because he got it shot off by his son when I was 14 years old. Boy, I'm letting this story run on, aren't I? Anyway, long story short. Ah, oh, damn it. No, no, no. <laughs> Long story short, he was, uh, <laughs> he was, uh, hurting. His leg was hurting. And he was crawling out of the door to have a cigarette. And, uh, he looked like a crawler zombie from, uh, Call of Duty. It was freaking hilarious. He was like, Aah! And he's all methed out of his head, so he looks dead anyway. God, it was, it was great. Anyway, I'm done telling the story. I do apologize. I thought it was funny. Back to Donkey Kong. Well, I mean, there's not really much to talk about here either. We're just playing the damn game. Oh yeah, I, I got a comment from somebody saying that um, some some review site rated this game bad, evidently. And I'm just whoa, go, go, dude. I'm just like, what? How the how the fuck do you do that? I mean, seriously, how do you rate this game bad? I mean. I'm a, I'm a decent critic. I mean, I piss people off that I know all the time because they're like, "Hey, dude, dude, did you play?" Uh, oh, I don't know. Did, did you play Medal of Honor, dude? And I'm like, "That game fucking blue, dude." And they're like, "Dude, fuck you, man. We're not friends, man. Fuck you." 
I paid 60 bucks for that shit. So, yeah. I piss people off. This is an amazing game. I don't give a fuck what you say. I haven't found a flaw. The only flaw I found, and this is just a personal flaw, it's nothing I would niche against the game. Well, I might a little bit. Is the the, the motion controls for rolling and shit. That's the only that's the only bad thing about it. You uh you can't fault the game. I mean, on that little thing, I mean you can't say a game's bad. Now I personally didn't see the review. But I heard it was pretty pathetic, honestly. So, I mean... Oh, shit. Damn it, there's an inn down there. I'm going for it. I don't think I got that last time. Last time I was like, fuck it. I'm not doing it. Oh, damn it. Now, the boss of this area is going to be a pain in the ass. I know that for sure. Alright. We got a checkpoint since the last one. That snake looks retarded. What's up with a lot of the enemies kind of looking like they're mentally ill in this game? Like the, uh... I don't think we've got that far yet, have we? Well, he's not really an enemy. But, oh, the G's down there. I'm going for the G. The, uh... Let's see, the shark looks kind of... Kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, we got the Kong, yay! He and then the, the snake, and then there's an enemy coming up later. Oh shit! Bastard. There's an enemy coming up in a little bit that looks kind of fucked up too. So. La -da -da, la -da -da. And boom! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got, what I gotta make sure is that my microphone doesn't fucking slip down when I'm like shaking the shit out of this controller. Well, shit, we missed one. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Moving on. Yeah. Let's see if we're at Cranky's house now. Nope. One more. Flutter Fly Away. Let's play it. Flutter Fly Away. What was this one? Hope it, hope it didn't suck, because uh, I'm not looking forward to sucking today, personally. That's just not uh, not how, how the card's written for me. <laughs> Let's see. Look at that. Wow. Never knew that. Somebody is like, you need to blow on shit more. And I'm like, fuck you. Oh, wait. You meant, okay. And then I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll try that next time. I thought he was being offensive at first. You fucker. I didn't even look. I wasn't even looking at him. I was looking at the K. Damn it. Nope. Come on, Brad. God, I was touching the mother... Shit. I was touching it, for sure. Got it. This is bullshit level. I remember this. I think any level with this music in it is probably going to be bullshit, because it's just like... It's, it's like hard music. You know what I mean? It's like... If you played the original Donkey Kong... I don't even remember where the... Oh, that's pretty... I forgot about that. Let's see, there there is probably something down here. I'm gonna see. Look at that big old vine puzzle piece. Nothing, man. What the fuck? See, this isn't shit worth blowing on, though. It ain't even worth the air in my lungs. Hehe. <laughs> well, shit. Fucked that up, didn't we? Come on. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Come on. There we go. Oh, shit. Almost, almost got ahead of myself. Fucked that up. Ah, fuck. I thought I grabbed the cling patch. If somebody was like, cling patch? What the fuck? Yeah, that's what it's called. I swear. Shit. What am I doing? It's called a clean patch. That's what they called it in the instructions. I'd show you, but... Nah. You can buy the game. Seriously, it's worth it. And it is, uh... Yeah, it's definitely worth having in your collection. Oh, shit. God dang it. Fucking flurry fuckers. They're moving so fast. All 
out. We're going to go for the end. There we go. That wasn't bad. No! God damn it. Fuck! That's so stupid, man. What the? Why would I like... Oh, well, at least we got Diddy right here. We'll look at the bright side of... Th the bright side of things. Dude, jump on him as soon as he hits. There we go. Oh, wait, I can blow on this here. Nope. That's it, man. Come on, man. This always pissed me off. Uh, my friend Shannon, she, uh... I remember we, we played Donkey Kong. We were like, all right, we're going to see who can get the farthest in one life. This was one night while I was guarding some shingles for my apartment complex for like a hundred bucks a night. Yeah, you can't beat that job. Sitting on your ass, playing games in a car. Oh, we made it up here. Playing games in a freaking car. And, uh, yeah, you can't, I mean, you can't be getting paid to play. Anyway, Shannon was one of those players that, uh, that, I, I don't know if you remember in the original Donkey Kong, but when you pound the ground, bananas would come up in random spots. Well, she knew where every fucking banana was at, and she wasn't going to stop until she got them all. Pissed me off! I was like, damn it, Shannon, of course you're, nev you're never going to die. You're fucking too busy pounding the ground. She would just walk up to each little, little patch and just start pounding it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Shannon. I wish you could see my videos today. But you can, unfortunately. Because she's blind now. There, we get the puzzle piece. And, uh... Boom! Yeah, that, oh, shit. Damn it. That's bullshit. Get, get that save point just, just in case. We're not doing too bad, but, you know... We're doing worse than average. Oop, I got hit. I didn't even notice it. I think I got hit there last time, too. What a bitch, dude. Don't fucking live longer than... Don't don't outlive your welcome. <laughs> yeah, so again, I'm sorry I... You gotta understand, guys. Uh, I've got three projects going on at the same time. Uh, if you're, if you're going to get into Let's Playing, here's a fun fact. If you don't have a lot of time, don't do three projects. Because you're going to... Oh, well, shit! Now I'm screwed. No, I'm not screwed. Come on, you can do this. You don't need Diddy. Fuck Diddy. Dude, you're... you're, you're <laughs> That's what I'm known for! Precision jumping. That's me. Alright, fuck this. See that? See that? I knew what, what was going to happen. I knew everything about it before it happened. Come on. You guys are... You guys are wanting me to fail. I, I figured that out. Because I was all... I was ready for... Dude, you suck at this game. You're a fucking loser. Hell no, you guys evidently like that shit. You're like, oh my god, this is fucking great. Except for like one dude, he's like, yeah, that was an embarrassment. That was pretty embarrassing. I almost wouldn't have put it up either, but uh, I got a chuckle out of it. And I'm like, yeah, well, I snared you too, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so now we got the Cranky's house. We can buy the damn key. And then some other shit. Oh. It seemed to really upset you guys that I wasn't buying anything else. I think I bought some stuff last time. I didn't buy a Squawks. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, I did. Fuck, it's right there. The counter's there, dipshit. We'll buy another banana juice because uh, that's pretty badass, uh, evidently. I'll tell you what, we're, we'll use uh, we'll use one of the heart deals on this boss level. Because it's a pain in the ass. Now there's some parts coming up in some of these levels I know I'm going to suck at. Like I think this one is one of them. Springing, springy spores. No, this one wasn't it, I don't think. Hope, hopefully Diddy is like right here at the beginning. Boom! Pissed off at that ground! We not, looks like we could pound there, and uh, something would happen. Oh, 